hello everyone okay so the next program in chapter 6 is car class all right write a class named car that has the following fields year model the year model field is an int that holds the car's year model make the make field references a string object that holds the make of the car so basically the make field is, is a variable that's going to reference a string object which is going to hold the make of the car speed the speed field is an int that holds the car's current speed. In addition, the class should have the following constructor and other methods. Constructor. The constructor should accept the car's year model and make as argument. These values should be assigned to the object's year model and make fields. The constructor should also assign zero to the speed field. Accessors. Appropriate accessor methods should get the values stored in an object's year model, make, and speed fields. Accelerate. The accelerate method should add 5 to the speed field each time it is called. Break. The break, sh the break method should subtract 5 from the speed field each time it is called. Demonstrate the class in a program that creates a car object and then calls the accelerate, accelerate method 5 times. After each call to the accelerate method, get the current speed of the car and display it. Then call the break, five, uh, then call the break method 5 times. After each call to the break method, get this, the current speed of the car and display it. Okay, so basically we're going to create a, cl a car class. We're going to create a car object out of it. Uh, it's going to have accessors, um, mutators, constructors. It's going to have a method. Um, actually, this is going to be a mutator. Um, so it's going to be the accelerate method, for example, is going to add 5 to the speed of the car each time. And we're going to get the speed of the car. So basically, we're going to um, create a, a loop to run to basically call the accelerate method five times and each time each time we are adding five to it and then displaying what the speed is so when we simulate it when we run the program it's going to look like we are accelerating and then we are breaking the break method uh, sub subtract five from the speed each time but it, it will make more sense as we start to to create it but first of all let's go ahead and create the car class and then we'll create the program that is going to use the car class to create object um, and play with it so let, let's first work on the car class, following these instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and create a car class. I'm going to start with a keyword public class, and I'm going to call it car. Now I'm going to define the fields. And we can see here that the field it said, um, let me just close this. I like to tighten it up sometimes. All right, so it said year model. The year model field is an, is an int that holds the car's year model. So it's basically going to be a, a regular variable, right? But it's going to be a private variable because we want this variable to be private. We, we want it to, we, we don't want code outside this class to be able to access it directly. We don't want code to outside this class to be able to change it directly or to be able to even directly just view the content of it without doing something else. We don't want it to say just, hey, Tell me what you're we wanted to use other means to view the content instead of just being able to directly access it all right so we are we are, we are hiding it from any code outside this class making it private within this class so anything within this class can access it but anything outside this class cannot access it so we're, so we are keeping all the fields private so private it said the field is an int so private int and it's called year model right and the next one is going to be make the make field references a string object that holds the make of the car. So it's a string. So private string make. The speed field is an int that holds the car's current speed. So the speed field is an int. So private int speed. Now we are done with the with the um, uh, the field of the class. Let's move on to the next thing over here it said in addition the class should have the following constructor and other methods so now let's go ahead and create the constructor it said over here that the constructor should accept the car's year model and make us arguments these values should be assigned to the object year model and make fields the constructor should also assign zero to the speed field so basically we're going to create a constructor the constructor always has the name of the class so the car is called the, the class is called car now the constructor will also be called car it's going to be a public constructor okay because we want code outside this class to be able to use this constructor to instantiate an object from this class so we are going to I'm calling it public but well, it's it's like it's a regular method right it's a method but it doesn't have a return type because we are not explicitly calling this method ourselves 
it's the first method that is called when we try to create an object from this class. It's called automatically. We don't do we don't do it ourselves, and because of that, since we are not um, calling um, calling it you know explicitly, it doesn't ha it doesn't have a return type. We don't specify a return type because it can't return a value, so we don't specify a return type. Okay, all right, and then no static keyword on a constructor. Um, no, no, no static keywords. No, no static keywords. So it's just public, and then car. Okay. So j just, just know that no, 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 um, static keyword for this, and then no return type. So public, car. And this, this constructor is basically the, the first method that's going to be called when we try to create an object from this class. And all this constructor is going to do is it's going to prep up this ob uh, object. Basically, it's going to it's going to prep up the object you're trying to create from this class. Basically, what I mean by that is it's going to in initialize the, these variables. And we need to specify how, what it should initialize it with. Okay. Now, over here, it said the constructor should accept the cast year model and make as arguments. So it's going to accept as, as arguments the cast year model. So since it's going to accept the cast year model and make as arguments, let's go ahead and define parameters for them. Right, so let's go ahead and define a parameter for the car, the car's year model. So I'm going to define the car's year model. We know is an int. So I'm defining an int parameter, as, and I'm going to call it um, year model given, okay? because that's going to be the year model that's going that's given to us. It said also that over here, the constructor should accept the car's year model and make as argument. So the make as well. The make is a string. So I'm defining a um, a parameter called a string parameter called make given when you read on the constructor it says these values should be assigned to the object year year model and make fields so that so the, so when we create an object from this class it's going to have these fields as well so we are setting the year model to whatever the user gave us Whoever call this, um, whoever whoever is trying to create an object from this class, uh, gave us. Okay, we are setting the field year model to the year model that was given to this constructor, and we are setting the make to the make given that was given to this constructor. When you read on the constructor, it says the constructor should also assign zero to the speed field. So now this speed field wouldn't wouldn't be initialized. So let's go ahead and do that. Speed is going to be equal to zero. Okay. Well, actually, by default, all n all numeric fields are, are going to be initialized to zero. But over here, we are um, being explicit about it and, and defining it ourselves and, and, and initializing it and saying that, hey, when this constructor is called, make sure you initialize the fields to these values. Okay, so now we are done with the constructor. Um, all right, so now we, we, let's move on to the accesses. Appropriate access and methods should get the value stored in an object year model, make and speed field. So let's go ahead and define the const um, the accesses. Now I like to keep my constructors as a last as a last method in the class. So I'm going to sh push it down and then create my accesses in between the fields and the constructor. All right. So the constructor is basically going to get the values of these fields. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and create a method. The constructor is going. Uh, I mean, sorry. The accesses, not the constructors. The accesses are going to be regular methods that are going to get the values from these fields. So I'm going to create a, the first one for year model. I'm going to get create, create a, a method to get the value of year model, and it's going to be a public. It's re, it's a regular method, but then we don't add static. To, we don't add to. We remember when we were creating uh, regular methods, um, in chapter I think chapter five. Um, yeah, I think so. We were creating. We're adding the keyword static to it. With with these ones, we don't add um, we don't add the keyword static to it because these methods we're about to create setters and, and and getters they are instance methods. They are instance methods because they work on an object of this class. So because for example, let, so let me finish creating this method. So no the, no 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 static keyword. So it's going to be public, right? Since we are setting, sorry, we are getting the year model, we, okay, we are going to return it. So it's going to return an int. So I'm going to specify the, the return type. And then I'm going to call this get year model. 
right? Now, this is an instance method, right? Basically, any method that is acting directly on an object is an instance method. Because this get year model is getting the year model from an object that is going to be created from this class, it is an instance method. And with instance methods, you don't add the keyword static to it, okay? Just It's just the, uh, uh, the access um, specifier, the type, the return type, and then the name of the the name of the method, right? So no static keyword to it. In chapter eight, um, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it some more. But for now, just know that any instance method, right? So any instance method does not have the keyword static, right? Any any instance method is, a, is, a, is any method that is acting directly on an object that's going to be created from this class. So if this one is getting the year of this model, if we were, for example, setting the, the value of this, that's that's going to be an instance method as well because that's directly being applied. That's that's directly setting the value of the field, okay, of an object that's going to be created from this class, okay. So I hope I didn't confuse anyone there. Okay, so now we have created the, or well, we are still creating the accessor for the year model. So when this method is called, we know it's going to return an int. What we wanted to return. Is the year model of this particular field of the particular field of the particular year model field of that object, right? So now we are returning year model. You want to also create accesses for this the make and then the speed. So I'm going to basically copy it. Now the speed, actually the make is a string, so I'm going to set the return type to a to a string here, and I'm going to call it get make. And we want to go ahead and return the make, the make of that particular, the, the make field of that particular object. The next thing we want to uh, create is the accessor for the speed field. We want to get the speed. And sp speed is an int variable. Um, uh, speed is an is an int, right? So we want to go when we are getting it. We know that we are we are we are going to get back an integer. I'm sorry. There's there's an announcement here. I'm in my school's library. And that's why it's just an announcement, a quick announcement. Um, so sorry about that. All right. So I don't know if you heard it, but if you heard it, yeah, that that was what it was. All right. So we are getting the speed. We know the speed is an integer. So I specify the return type to be an int because when we return it, I mean, when we are getting the speed, you know, we, we know we are getting an int back. So I'm returning the speed this time around. Okay, so now we have our three accesses here. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is, let's see. It says we should go ahead and create an, um, an accelerate method. An accelerate method, sh um, it's, it should add five to the speed field each time it is called, right? So it's going to be a, it's going to be pretty much a mutator, right? Because it's going to change, it's going to set the values. Um, oh, for, for these fields, it's going to yeah basically set to set set some set some of the values for these fields. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. That's also going to be an instance method. So public no uh, public no static keyword, just a return type. In this case, when I'm setting it, I'm not really returning anything. So it's a public void method. Void means it, you know it's returning nothing. Void means nothing. So public void, and then I'm going to call it set actually no actually we don't have to we don't have that that um, me method we have an accelerate method so public void accelerate accelerate is not going to return any return anything but it's also it's also not going to accept anything as a matter of fact all it's going to do is it should add five to the speed field each time it is, it is called so i'm going to set the speed field i'm going to add five to it plus equals five now this statement is this is the same as the speed field is equal to the sp is 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 equal to what's already stored in the speed uh, speed field plus five. Okay, so basically, take what is stored in the speed field, add five to it, add both of them together, and store the result in five. So if speed is initially zero, it's going to be zero plus five, and speed is going to be five. If speed is five, five plus five is going to be ten. Store ten here. If speed is ten. 10 plus 5 is 15, store to 15 here. So basically, anytime it, it is called add 5 to speed. And that's all for the accelerate method. 
Now the break method should subtract 5 from the speed field each time it is called. Before that, this same statement can be written as speed plus equals 5, which means what is being added to speed is equal to 5. Okay, what is being added to speed is equal to 5, or speed is being increased by 5. Okay, speed is being increased by 5. Five. You can read it like that if that helps. Okay, so now we, we, we need to go ahead and create the break method, which is down here. And the break method should subtract 5 from the speed field each time it is called. So I'm just basically going to paste this. It's also going to return nothing. It's All it's doing is it's subtracting 5 from the speed field each time it is called. So I'm going to call this break. It's returning nothing, but each time it's subtracting five from the speed field. Now this also can be written as speed is equal to what's already stored in speed minus five. Okay. And, th on, and then the shortcut version of it is speed minus equals five, meaning what is being subtracted from speed is equal to five. All right. Or speed is being subtracted by five. Okay, so now we got, we have our accelerate, accelerate method, our break method, our accesses, and our, what's our constructor? Uh, this is our constructor over here. All right, so I think I, I was supposed to push it all the way down. I like to keep my constructors down, so I'll cut it and paste it right below the break method so that we have our fields, our accesses, uh, two um, setters you can think of it uh, basically our mutators or uh, two methods here and our constructor so let's see so that's basically what we have to do for to create the class now it says demonstrate the class in the program so that means we're going to create an, a separate a separate program which is going to use this class to create objects from it so let's go ahead and compile this um, uh, over here so so I actually so yeah, this was a test of what I was doing, but um, I don't actually have it saved in the, in the main folder. So I'm going to go to desktop and go to Java, Programming Challenges, and let's go to up to six. Okay, and then let's save it here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder for, say, car class. That's the name of it. And then I'll create a folder, and then I'll save this as car.java. Okay, we have a, okay. I didn't terminate this line, so let me just go ahead and terminate it. Compile, it, compile it. I didn't terminate this line as well, so compile it. And then now we are done with this class. So basically, this is not a is not a complete program. It's just a class. It's just a prog a page with a, a file with a class. It's not a complete program, right? So if you try to compile it, it won't run. I mean, if you try to run it, it, it won't run. It will complain that it doesn't have a, a main method. Okay, the main method is, is the method that's called each time a program um, is run. This is, not a, this is not a complete program, it's just a class. So now we have to write a program that's going to use this class, right? So let's do that. 